Documenting history has just gotten easier for KW. The Kitchener Public Library recently got a new scanner donated to them for the use of scanning old documents and fragile photographs with the intention of digitizing them. I'm standing here in front of the new scanner in the Kitchener Public Library. They are the first public library in Ontario to receive one. Karen Ball Pyatt, history librarian at the KPL, says what the library went through in order to obtain the scanner. We were approached by the Warley Region branch of the Ontario Genealogical Society and they wanted to make a donation to us as sort of a legacy pro project. And we decided that um, scanning the directories um, would be a good project and that's we went forward with their donation and applied for a Warley Regional Heritage Foundation grant. The cost of the scanner was just over $50,000 with just under 80% of the cost coming from the donation they received. Currently, the library has plans with the scanner before they make it fully available. Once we're finished that project, hopefully mid-2016, we'll open up the um, scanner to the public and it'll be free of, um, free of charge to use. The two universities in the city have had these scanners for years now, with many of their old archives digitized, including works such as the first English translation of Euclid's Elements of Geometry. Jessica Blackwell, librarian in the archives department at the University of Waterloo, yeah. described how they use their scanners. It's incredibly simple. It's called a Botanet. It's an overhead scanner. You press a big button, it takes a picture, and you press a button to save it. With so many ways to scan old documents, the possibility of storing those old keepsakes is that much higher. For Spoke TV, I'm Matthew Bentley.